This is your life, this, a top secret rendezvous in London where I've just met up with my two star assistants. Hardman actor Gareth Hunt and looking as stunning as ever, delightful actress Joanna Lumley. Now they're going to help me on a high speed cloak and dagger mission and according to our watches, synchronized of course. Of course. So we have about 60 seconds so let's get into the car. Our man is around the corner in a hotel. Let you come out for pictures before he goes to California and we have no margin for error. Gareth and Joanna, so let's go. You get out first. I'll be right behind you. And I'll keep as much as I can out of sight here. So if you get through first, this is it. All right, we're nearly there, but let's get there in one piece, guys. No risks. Sharp left hander, eh, Ironman? Martial arts colleagues help me on a rather special mission for the week. This is Captain their actor boss, John Steed, alias Patrick McNeil. Tonight, this is your life. Hey, <laughs> 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 for the driving girl. Some of you like to travel in the manner to which you are accustomed. We have lots of surprises brought you back at the theatre. really did take your breath back a bit there. Yes, it really did. Now, I couldn't have been in better company, Patrick, of course, when I surprised you, because like so many people that you've worked with in your long career, Joanna and Gareth there became not just colleagues, but great friends. So right. As did three stunning star assistants going back 23 years who are not here on stage with you tonight only because professional work prevents them. The girls who crash banged walloped onto our screens like this. working in places as far apart as New York, London, and oh. Scotland. Tonight, they still greet you on screen, and warmly, as you can see from the very first, Kathy Gale, Honor Blackman. Hello, Patrick. Hello, Eamon. Patrick, do you remember the episode of The Avengers when I was supposed to ride a motorbike, and they fell on the floor with surprise because I could ride a motorbike? You were very impressed, I remember, but not sufficiently impressed that you would ride pillion with me. If I remember rightly, you said something like, um, uh, no offense, darling, but I think I've been living on borrowed time since the war. That's true. I send you lots of love. 
and a great big kiss. Thank you, Anna Blackman. <laughs> and over in New York, just before she leaves for the theater, where she's appearing in the smash hit Broadway comedy Noises Off, another assistant recalls rather special noises she made in your ear, Linda Thorson. <laughs> Hello, Patrick. Hello, Hello Eamon. Patrick, do you know why I was just doing that? Yes. Do you remember when I got the part of Tara King? I said to myself I was going to play it as if she were madly in love with Steve, which wasn't very difficult to do. And so whenever I've been running across a field or I tried to escape from somewhere, you found me, I'd always throw my arms around you and go, Oh, Steve! <gasps> and you always had to cut and go again. I used to see this look on your faces as you knew it was going to happen. Because the American censor said it was far too passionate and I had to cut out the breathing. Anyway, thanks for being so fantastic always. And here's a kiss without the passion and the heavy breathing. Thank you, Linda Thorson. <laughs> and from New York, we go to Scotland, where she has to be tonight, to yet another glamorous assistant, Emma Peel, which apparently stood for Man Appeal, a sentiment I go along entirely with for yeah. Diana Rigg. Darling Patrick. The strongest memory I have of those years we spent together was your wonderful ability to make me laugh. When things were at their grimmest, and we were behind schedule, and the scripts weren't right, and all sorts of things were going wrong, you used to say something, and off we'd go, did you? The other thing which, to my great joy, stemmed from our relationship was a very deep affection, which has survived all the intervening years. Oh. Much, much love. Thank you, Diana Ray. And of course, your latest partners in the new Avengers helped me surprise you tonight. And Gareth, you and John are always being questioned by fans about John Steve. Yes, the other evening in the theater, it was lovely. I came up from the stage door and there's two lovely people there. And the first thing they said to me, when are you going to bring that lovely John Steve down here to see us? <laughs> True. Uh, lovely. And what about uh, Joanna? Is she well, questioned as well? The most often asked question I get is, when is the Avengers coming back? And the second one is always, is he really like that? And I say, what? And they say, well, does he speak like that? And I say, certainly. Does he dress like that? And I say, well, yes, but better. And they say, is he, is he lovely? And the answer to that is, because I never have time to explain to all the people who ask me about Patrick, is that he's, he's an extraordinary man. He's so kind and so funny and is one of the truest and loyalest friends I'll ever know. Love you, Patrick. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Well, a warm compliment from your latest lovely assistant. But I wonder how many remember your very first avenging partner in 1961. Thank you. Oh, you're a gay old thing, aren't you? Yeah, she's my favorite one. Uh, you were saying? No, no, where was I? The, uh, the organized hiring of train towers. Oh, you passed that. It's something about a special demonstration in the Chelsea area. Oh, yeah, right. The star of the 1960 hit series Police Surgeon, from which the Avengers developed, stage and screen star Ian Hendry. Ian, we had a glimpse there of memorable performances from the two of you. Well, uh, you come fill in in 30 seconds, can you? Uh, the whole first year of the Avengers. He practically invented it. Right? No. <laughs> Thank you, Ian Henry. Thank you. Well, Patrick, but Patrick, someone discovered at the very last moment it might be just about possible to make it, but only at full throttle. <laughs> Sounds like she made it. That's very difficult. Mrs. Gale herself, that marvelous actress, and I know <laughs> cherished friend to this day, Honor Blackman. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.